I was watching your channel. I noticed that uh, you're doing uh, reaction videos to commercials, which I found really interesting. And um, it, it, it brought to mind a commercial that I'd seen online of a drug from the early 2000s. And I'm wondering, Dr. Yosef, would you mind, I want to put you on the spot a little bit here. Would you mind reacting to this advertisement for me? Yeah, no worries. Let's do it. Okay. Bear with me one second. I'm just going to bring it up. Think about the week before your period. Do you feel irritability, tension, tiredness? Think it's BMS? Think again. It could be PMDD, premenstrual dysphoric disorder. You know, those intense mood and physical symptoms the week before your period. Sound familiar? Call to get free information about PMDD and a treatment your doctor has to relieve its symptoms. Why put up with this another month? It's back. The week before your period. Mood swings, bloating, irritability. Think it's PMS? Did you take my keys? Maybe it's PMDD. Those intense mood and physical symptoms right before your period. Sound familiar? To find out how your doctor can help, call or visit pmdd.com today. Why well, feel like this another month? Well, yeah. So, so I mean, follow follows a pretty standard standard playbook. But you know what I think they do really well is you know they empathize with the person, which is what you want to do in sales and marketing. You wanna you want to kind of meet them where they're at. You know, you're irritable. You don't want to put up with it. You hate it. I get it, girl. Like I'm there with you. This this sucks, and you know I'm listening and I feel your pain. And so you know they get the person on side, and then they're just like, well. But let me tell you this: the solution may be that you've got PMDD. It's not PMS. It's actually something your doctor can fix. And so, I mean, what like what they don't know is. Um, you know, Sarafem, like, what is that? Is that Prozac? Is that the, I have to look that one up. Yeah, that was, uh, that was rebranded. It was Prozac originally. Yeah. And they changed the name. So, I mean, they're not, they're not saying, we're just going to give you Prozac. You know, if, 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 you know, have you heard of Prozac before? If you've got PMS, we're going to give you, we're going to give you an antidepressant and mm. we're going to mask those symptoms and, you know, you know, deal with all of the stuff that goes along with antidepressants they don't do that they say you know go and talk to your doctor about it and then the thing is people go in to see their doctors and their doctors they're not I'm, i mean I'm, i don't want to paint with the broad brush stroke here but i will like a lot of them are pretty busy maybe a really great doctor would just say hey listen like this drug's only been studied for a couple of months you probably don't want to take this long term i get it you know, premenstrual symptoms, they really suck. But in the grand scheme of things, I think you have more to lose by taking this. A lot of doctors, you know, when someone walks in, they go, I think I have PMDD. You know, the doctor goes, oh, it's FDA approved. Okay, we'll write you a script for that on to the next problem. And um, that that's kind of the transactional nature of medicine at the moment. And I think, you know, with the rush visits and the churn and the doctors wanting to see as many people per hour, there's less of that counseling. And I think the drug companies really get it. So they're always just like, talk to your doctor, talk to your doctor. Cause they just, they kind of know that people are, that it's, it's going to be really easy for the doctor to write the script. So, I mean, I, I, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just bad, man. <laughs> no, no, no. It really is. It's, it's quite, and, and the fact that they just rebranded that. And I'm, I'm also aware as well that. The word seraphim is a play on the word, some Hebrew word, I believe is called. Um, I think it's seraquel. And seraquel in ancient Hebrew, uh, you pop, you might know this, I don't know. But... That might be that might be the other drug. The because uh, ser seraquel's that uh, antipsychotic, Un unless it's uh, also oh. the Hebrew word. Word, I don't know. Oh, but, uh, maybe I'm wrong then. But there is. It's definitely a play on an ancient Hebrew word, which is linked to female fertility or something like that. Um, so that was definitely, I, don't, I can't remember the name of the word now, but uh, yeah, and they, they, they dressed it up in like a pretty pink sort of packaging and, you know, made it extremely feminine and 
just really appealing to a to the female mind and it's just interesting how they market it like you say you know um yeah it's quite fascinating really the tactics that are involved in it all yeah i mean that's kind of the fun stuff about like i like looking into this as well and i'm a small business owner now like i understand some marketing and things like that and i look at it i'm just like wow this is how the this, this is how they do it and and yeah and they're into it and so there's a there's a ton of psychology involved, you know. There's it, everything is is well thought out, not just you know getting the trials sorted out and getting the drug passed. There's all this back end of it, you know. There's all this stuff going on, all these moving parts about how we're gonna market this drug to the to the population. What story are we gonna create, you know, where we can where it's relatable, like you said, you know, where it's gonna target the audience that we're trying to sell to. There's all these different things to think about. Um, and it's all just sell a drug, you know, to make, and they end up making billions off it, which is, you know, it's questionable, really. Very questionable. I've been, I've been reading, um, I've been reading, I guess, I Influence by Robert Cialdini. Maybe this is as one that you've come across before, but it's probably one of the best books on modern marketing. I feel like mm -hmm. I've learned more from that book about how doctors Doctor practice and how drug, drug companies drug influence doctors, doctors, doctors or anything else. Because we usually we think usually that doctors think that are that these objective people, uh, but so much of what we do is, I think, governed by relationships and influence and marketing mm -hmm. techniques. Check it out. Influenced by Robert Ciald Cialdini. It is definitely a book that will... You know, if you look at it from the medical perspective and how doctors are influenced, I think I think you'll get a lot out of it. Really, really, really cool.